Hello! Welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. My name is Danny Rocks. Today I'm going to show you how to consolidate information from multiple worksheets to perform a first quarter summary. I've started with a template. That's the easiest way when we're setting up budgets. Budget template, in this case, I downloaded from the Microsoft website and it has all of the labels and all of the formulas that I'm going to need. I then made multiple copies of this one worksheet. I made a copy, an exact copy for January, an exact copy for February, March, and so on. I also made a blank copy or an exact copy for our first quarter consolidation. Consolidating information for first quarter or year-to-date summaries is a common business process, but I'm amazed at how many clients don't set their spreadsheets up correctly. I'm going to show you how to do so, so you'll save time and not waste resources. Let's start in cell C4. This is the first cell in the range that I'm going to choose for consolidation. So with just one cell selected, I go up to Data Consolidate and then I'm going to use the sum function. That's the most common in consolidation. Now I have to add in my cell references. Let me point to my January worksheet. And in the January worksheet, I want to bring in this information for budgets and actuals for this, this range of cells. And I choose in the dialog box, Add. Now, for the February, it's very easy. I'll just point to February, and because we're using exactly the same range of cells based off of a template, it's very easy for me to add February into the reference range. Finally, I'll add in the March numbers. And again, because we've based this off of a template, the range of cells C4 through D7, I add. So I now have my January, February, and March cells from C4 through C D7 that I'm going to consolidate. And I choose OK. And there you go. In our first quarter summary, I have all the information. I have the budget numbers from the three months, the actuals, and the difference. Now, when I did it this way, I've just simply added the numbers together. Let me show you another way to do it following the same process, but adding one further step to create a link. So let's go over to another blank worksheet copied from the template, and we'll follow the same procedure. Data, consolidate, and I want to use sum. My first reference is going to be in the January worksheet, and I'll select those cells that I'm going to consolidate, and I choose Add. Because I've set this up at a template, as a template, it's very easy to select the February. I just pointed to the February worksheet. The range of cells is exactly right. Click Add. And our last range, I'm just going to point to the March worksheet, cells C4 through D7. I add that. Now here's my last step. This is what I didn't do the first time. I want to create a link to the source data. So when I check that box and click OK, now with my spreadsheet, I've actually created a nice outlined report. You see, just like subtotals, I've got outlines over here. Level 2 reveals the information. So here in my outline, I can see that this cell traces back to the March C4 cell. I can see that in this cell, it traces back to the March C5. In this cell, it traces back to February C6. And let's bring back the summary here at level 1. So what this means that if I went and I changed a number, let's just change this number. We'll make it 115,000. Now, when I trace this back into my linked spreadsheet, you'll see that that number has changed compared to the consolidation I did without establishing the link. So there you have an introduction to consolidating data by position because we based our spreadsheet off of a template and made multiple copies of that template and kept everything in the worksheet. That's our tip for today. We'll see you in the next Tips and Time Savers.